Hi, we are Engineering Brothers. In our previous class, we have solved this problem with our Thevenin's theorem. Now, as per my rule or as per my proceedings, I want to take the same problem, but I am going to use another type of methods to solve the same problem and try to check the answer with our previous condition that whether the current is 0.3142 or the power is 0.9872 or so on so that is why i have mentioned in our table so for our first condition thevenin's theorem we have got the current as this one and the power as this one okay the next method is nodal method which is our prime consideration over here so let us do that so i just need to remove the problems and should utilize the nodal analysis to solve the same problem So the first step is just draw the circuit. So in our left hand side, so the circuit has two amps current source, which is connected parallelly with our 2 ohm resistor this is 2 ohm and that is also connected with 1 ohm ok this one is our 10 ohm and this one is 1 ohm And in our right hand side this one is our 2, two ohm is connected and which is finally connected in, three, in series with our 5 amp current source ok now if I do consider that here say the voltage is VA and at this point the voltage is say VB ok so what is the method the method is very simple we just need to take the current path for this path I have considered that the current is say I1 for this path the current is say I2 through this path the current is I3 and finally through this path the current is I4 ok now if I do apply the KCL at point A say this point is A and this point is B ok what is the method method is very simple apply KCL at A now what is the equation the equation is quite frankly I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 which is equal to 0 ok quite clearly you can see that the I1 is opposite with our minus 2 amps so I1 is minus 2 ok plus I2 means this path over here the voltage is 0 ok so what is the value of I2 
greater voltage minus lesser voltage divided by resistance that is the ultimate value for our current so what is the value of that current the current is va minus the zero divided by our resistor which is 2 so through this path you can see that the current value is i2 so greater voltage which is va as you can see that no element or no passive element is present in between these three points so i can say that at this point also the voltage is va at this point also the voltage is also va okay so greater voltage which is va minus lesser voltage which is zero divided by two which is our i2 the next one is plus i2 means the same formulation so this path so greater voltage means va va minus zero divided by one which is our i3 and ultimately the last current through this path here the voltage is va through this path the voltage is vv and in between this line or in between these two voltage points we have got 10 ohm resistor connected in between these two points okay so greater voltage which is va minus lesser voltage means vb divided by 10 which is our zero okay so this is our final equation if i do apply the kcl at point a i want to remind this portion once again first i have taken the circuit or drawn the circuit in a fresh way and i have considered that we have got two important nodes at node a i have considered the that the voltage is va and quite similarly at point b the voltage is vv okay and i have applied the kcl at point a after i have realized that this is our kcl equation and i have found out each and individual current for each and individual path so i1 is minus 2 this one is va divided by 2 this one is va divided by 1 this one is va minus vb divided by 10 which is equal to 0 okay and i have considered that the current is always flown from the greater voltage to the lesser voltage so here at this point quite naturally the i1 is simply the current that is why i have taken the current as the direct one which is minus 2 but for the rest of the current expression i have considered that the analogy is quite simple the analogy is from the greater voltage towards lesser voltage that is the direction of our current or that is the rule of thumb according to our flow of our current okay so at this point the voltage is va the current is going in this way so quite naturally here at this point the voltage is greater and at this point the voltage will be lower so va minus 0 divided by 2 that is the i2 as through this path the current is you can see that the current is i2 now let us take another path which is i3 so this one so i3 is through this path so greater voltage means va lesser voltage means 0 divided by 1 and for the i4 path at a the voltage is va and at b the voltage is vv okay and the resistor is placed in between these two points a and b so what is the expression for our i4 the greater voltage minus lesser voltage as the current has flown in this way i have considered or i have taken that the voltage va is greater compared with vv so that is why i have considered that va minus vv divided by 10 which is equal to zero hope you have understood up to this one after that i will do consider another portion or another type of explanation to establish the same equation over here the time is up i want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one and after that i will 
continue with my problem solving skills hope you have understood my total analogy over here so the time starts now In our previous part, we have applied the KCL at point A, and this is our final expression over here. I am going to take another path to explain the same equation over here. So to do that, I need to write the equation in a smaller version. That will be better. Plus B A divided by two plus B A divided by one. Plus B A minus B B divided by ten, which is equal to zero. This one is B. Okay. So I will first consider each an individual path to explain the current. Or explain the current equation. So first comes our I one. So I will only consider this path. So this is like this one. So this is our I one, and this one is our two amps. Okay, you can see that the two amp is going from downwards to upwards, and I one is going in the opposite direction. that is why i have considered that the i1 is minus 2 so i have replaced the i1 with minus 2 so i should write it over here in the upper side which is minus 
plus the next one is our I1. Sorry, I have already done the I1. The next one is the I2 current. To consider that, I will only draw the I2 part, only this part. So the 2 ohm resistor is connected and through this path the current is I2 ok and across this path the voltage is VA I have considered the voltage at point A is VA that is why the voltage across this resistor will be same which is VA ok now what is the method the method is the according to the rule of thumb the current is going in this way so the polarity across our resistor is this one is plus this one is minus now the next step is very simple if I to apply the KVL in this loop in this loop which is minus plus means plus VA plus VA plus minus means minus what is the voltage drop across our resistor I into R so here the I is our I2 into 2 which is is equal to 0 I want to repeat this portion once again I have only considered this I2 path and I have separately drawn over here and across this resistor the voltage is VA now if I do apply the KVL in this closed loop I have got this is our equation and how do I get that minus plus means plus VA and the current is flowing in this way so plus minus means minus and what is the voltage drop across our resistor the ohms ohms law which is I multiplied with R I means our I2 multiplied with 2 which is equal to 0 and through the path plus minus means minus ok now from this expression I need to find out the I2 ok minus I2 2 which is equal to minus VA ok so what is the equation over here the I2 is VA divided by 2 so I am going to write it over here VA divided by 2 so quite frankly I1 is this one I2 is this one ok similarly for our I3 I want to consider the only I3 path ok so let us do that as per my promise I want to show you each and every steps over here that is why our class are very very special ok if you have followed our classes you will completely have the confidence to solve this type of problems that is the speciality of our classes ok now for I3 I want to consider only this I3 path here this is our resistor and the resistance value will be 1 ohm here the current is I3 ok and across this path the voltage is VA ok now the same procedure if you do apply the KVL in this closed loop what is the equation minus plus means plus VA plus minus according to the rule of thumb the polarity is this one is plus this one is minus minus plus means plus VA so the current goes in this way and if I do consider the KVL equation I will consider in this closed loop and it will fade back over here ok I will consider this path so minus to plus means plus VA and it will the current always goes downwards minus plus minus means minus I3 which is our current multiplied with 1 which is equal to 0 ok and we need to find out the current I3 so current I3 means VA ok plus the I3 is VA and the last one is our I4 this method is very very suitable if you want to clear your concepts and to clear your concepts always do follow our channel and please do subscribe our channel because 
lot of exciting videos are coming and we will be happy to explain all the paths over here and if your concepts are not clear you are not going to understand or not been able to solve this type of problems that is why i keep on saying please do subscribe our channel and you will get lot of important notification to have the best solution that we have got in our channel okay now for the last one which is our i4 okay this one is our ba voltage this is our resistor and the resistance value will be 10 ohm and the current is flown in this way okay and at this point the voltage is vb okay now the same procedure if you do apply the kvl in this loop so minus plus means plus va as the current is flown in this way what is the polarity according to a rule of thumb this one is plus this one is minus so what is the voltage drop across this resistor quite naturally this one is minus current i4 multiplied with resistance which is 10 okay so minus plus means plus va plus minus means minus and what is the voltage drop across a resistor current multiplied with resistance which is i4 multiplied with 10 and the final one which is dv and what is that plus minus means minus dv which is equal to zero so from this expression we need to find out the i4 okay and what is the i4 the i4 is if you do solve the equation we should have got the i4 is what b a minus b b divided by 10 that is why we have taken this is our equation over here okay i want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one and i have shown you each and individual paths over here and i need to note down the final i4 expression over here to complete our expression and for the initial part i have got the same equation over here so i am going to show you two steps or two separate steps to solve the same problem that is why our classes or our channels are always special i am going to show you each and every path or each and every steps to solve this type of problems okay and there is no shortcut in my methods okay and i will guarantee you that your concepts will be clearer okay so i have taken two separate paths to get the same equation over here so whatever maybe you can take you you can consider this individual current method you can consider the greater minus lesser voltage method whatever maybe your whatever maybe you consider or whatever is easier for you you can consider that but ultimately we will get the same equation so after considering the equation for the first level or for the first stage we have got this is our equation for the second method we have got the same equation okay i think uh, you can now identify that which one is better for you and if you follow my channel you will get the total answers over here and mind you this one is not the nodal method analysis this one is the thevenin's theorem problem but i have taken the another path to solve the same problem which is nodal method that is why i have taken or considered the nodal method to solve the same problem okay so the another time is off i want to give you another two minutes to note down up to this one okay so the time starts now
in our previous part of the video we have given you two different methods to get the same equation okay so without wasting any time i just need to simplify this expression over here so this is our expression after i have applied the kcl at point a okay so what is the final expression from here or from this ex expression that we have got so just simplify this expression what is the equation if i do transfer the minus 2 in our right hand side what is the expression looks like va by 2 plus va plus va minus vb divided by 10 which is equal to 2 okay now what is the LCM? The LCM is 10. This one is 5VA plus 10BA plus BA minus BV which is equal to 2. This one is 5VA plus 10VA plus BA minus BV is equal to 2. Okay. The next step will be 15 VA, 16 VA minus VB which is equal to 20. Just cross multiply. So 10 into 2 means 20. So 16 VA, this one is 15 VA plus 1 VA means 16 VA minus VB is equal to 20. So this is our first equation over here. So I need to note down that equation over here the first equation is 16 ba minus vb which is equal to 20 so this is our first equation similarly for our next part for our vb we need to apply the kcl at point b okay so without wasting any time if i do apply the kcl at point b what is the equation let us find out. What is the equation? If I take the current through this path, as 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one is I5 and uh, this one is our I6 and this one is our I7. Okay. So what is the equation? The equation will be current I5 through this path I5 plus I6 plus I7 which is equal to 0. Okay. Here I want to remind one important facts over here. For the 10 ohm resistor, I don't know whether the current is going in this way from VA to VV or the current is going in this way from VV to VA. We don't know the exact current direction over here. Okay. But according to the rule of thumb, we can say that or we must note that or we have considered that all the current is going away from the node. That is our rule of thumb. That is why I have taken that all the currents are going away from our node B. That is why I have considered I7, I5, I6. We don't know whether I4 current direction is right or I7 current direction is right. Okay, but if you do apply the KCL of any point, you should take the current is going, always going away from that node. Okay, so that is why I have taken that I7, I5, I6, all are going away from our node B. Okay, after I have applied the KCL equation, I have got, this is our equation which is I5, 
plus i6 plus i7 which is equal to 0 and according to the rule of thumb what is the value of i5 greater voltage minus lesser voltage divided by 0 so at this point also the voltage is 0 as the grounded has the same point all these points are grounded so quite naturally here also the voltage is 0 so if I do consider the I5 path only the greater voltage means VV so VV minus lesser voltage means 0 divided by resistance what is the resistance here the resistance is 1 ok so this is our VV minus 0 divided by 1 this is our equation of I5 the next one is plus I6 I6 is opposite with our 5 ampere current source ok here don't get confused over here you can see that through this path a resistance is present which is 2 amps sorry the 2 ohm values are present but you can see that here through this path the 5 ampere current is flown through this path so this 2 ohm resistor is here to create the mistake of any type of problem solving abilities so through this path you can directly see that the 5 ampere current is connected so without wasting any time the I6 is minus 5 as both the currents are opposite in nature the I6 is going in this way the 5 ampere is going in this way so this one is the what is the value of I6 the I6 value will be minus 5 ok similarly for our I7 I7 is here we have got two voltage are present in between these two points the VV and VA and the resistance present in between these two point is 10 ohm resistor this 10 ohm so what is the equation for this condition greater voltage minus lesser voltage divided by resistance so here as the current is flown in this way here the greater voltage is VV so VV minus lesser voltage means VA VV minus VA divided by 10 which is equal to 0 so this is our another equation over here I want to take another path to explain the same equation or same KCL equation over here but before I go into that I want to give you another 2 minutes to note down up to this one hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below if you have any constructive suggestions regarding our channel or regarding our any part of the video you can let us know in the comment section as well okay so the another time is up so the time starts now
In our previous part of the video, we have got this is our equation. If I do apply the KCL at point B, and I have taken our first method, which is our the current is always going from the greater voltage towards lesser voltage. That analogy, and I have got this is our equation. So I am going to take another path or another way to show you the same equation. But before I go into that, I need to. Note down the equation over here. So B B divided by one minus five plus B B minus B A divided by ten, which is equal to zero. Now I am going to take each and individual paths to establish the same equation. Okay. So first comes our current I five. Okay. For I five, I need to only consider the I five path only. So here, this one is B B through this path. The resistor is been present. The current value is I five, and across this path, the voltage is B B. Okay, the same equation or the same analogy, and what is the rule of thumb or what is the polarity through this resistor? This one is plus, this one is minus. So the same analogy, if you do apply the KVL in this closed loop, you will get the final answer of I five. So minus plus means plus V B. Plus minus means minus current I five. Multiplied with resistor, and that resistor value is one, which is equal to zero. So this is our KVL equation. If I do apply the KVL in this closed loop, now from this expression we should find out the current value. So what is the value of current? The current is I five, which is B B. Okay. Now need to write it over here. B B divided by one. Okay, so I have considered the I five. So the next one is our I six. For the current path of I six, this is two ohm resistor and. This one is our current source, and that value of current source is five amps, and the current has flown in this way. Quite naturally, I six is opposite with our five. That is why I have considered the I six as minus five. Okay, so this one is minus I six means minus five inside our bracket, and. Without wasting any time, the next one is our I seven. So what is that I seven? Let us do that. For our I seven, here the voltage is V B, and in our left hand side the voltage is V A, and in between these two voltage point we have got the resistor. And that value resistor is 10 ohm, and this one is plus minus V A. This one is plus minus V B, and the current has flown in this way. And what is the current over here? The current is our I seven. Similarly, for that same procedure, if you do apply the KVL in this closed loop, what is the equation? Minus plus means plus V B plus minus this one is plus this one is minus as the current has flown in this way and according to the rule of thumb voltage drop across our resistor this is plus this is minus as the current has flown in this way so minus plus means plus V B plus minus means minus I seven which is our 
current value multiplied with our resistor the resistor value is plus 10 and plus minus means minus VA which is, is equal to 0 now from this expression we need to find out the I7 ok so what is the I7 the I7 is quite naturally BB minus BA divided by 10 if you do solve this expression ok so I have got our final expression which is plus BB this one is B so BB minus BA divided by 10 ok now solve or simplify this equation ok so I have justified so I have considered two different methods but have the same equation if I do apply the KCL ok and after that I have got this is our final expression over over here now need to solve the KCL equation to simplify that form ok BB divided by 1 plus BB minus BA divided by 10 which is, is equal to 5 ok now what is the KCL for this expression 10 10 BB plus BB minus BA which is, is equal to 5 ok now what is the equation 11 BB minus VA which is equal to 50 so this is our second expression over here or second equation over here now we have got or we have summarized two simple expressions over here and from that expression we will find out the VA VV and after that we will ultimately get the current in between those points ok so our first expression our first equation is 16 VA minus BB which is equal to 20 so this is our first equation and the second equation is our second equation is 11 BB minus VA which is equal to 50 so this is our second equation ok now if we do multiply equation 2 with 16 and then add with this equation I will get the expression of VB ok now let us multiply that so what is the equation the equation is 16 multiplied with 11 VV this one minus 16 VA this one is 16 multiplied with 50 ok and that should be added with our equation 1 ok with this equation so this 16 VA 16 VA will cancel and this one is 16 multiplied with 11 minus 1 this is our VB and ultimately we have got 20 plus 16 multiplied with 50 ok I want to repeat this portion once again I have multiplied 16 with equation 2 and have added with equation 1 so this after multiplication of the equation 2 I have got this is our expression and I have taken these two from to add this from after that I have realized that the 16 VA will cancel and ultimately this expression is present so this minus with this means this one which is, is equal to 20 plus 16 multiplied with 50 now I am going to use the 
scientific calculator to get the answer which is 16 multiplied with 11 means 176 minus 1 means 175 BV. So this one is 175 BV which is equal to what is that in our right hand side 60 multiplied with 50 okay I have got 820 820 so what is the expression for our final VV the VV will be our 820 divided by 175 and the unit is in volt okay so what is the expression or what is the value of our VV? The VV will be 820 divided by 175. And that value will be 4.685. 4.685. 4 and the unit is in bold. So I have got the VV. So the another time is up. I want to give you another 2 minutes to note down up to this one. And I will get the BA in my next step. Okay. So the time starts now. I have already considered the previous two Thevenin's expression or previous two Thevenin's problem and I have already solved that with nodal method over there. So if you have missed those videos, please do follow that videos. Okay, so getting back to this problem, I have got already the VV which is 4.685 volt. 
Now the next point is we need to find out the VA from this expression. Okay. So what is the VA? To solve the VA, I am going to take the equation number one. Okay. 16 VA. And what is the VB? I have got the VB as 4.685 is equal to 20. Okay, if I do transfer this 4.685 in our right hand side, what is the expression? The expression will be 16 VA, which is equal to 24.685. And what is the ultimate value of VA? 24.685 divided by our 16. Okay. So what is the expression for our VA? 24.685 divided by our 16 and that value is 1.542. The value will be 1.5 4, 2 and the unit is in volt. Okay. Now I need to write the values of our voltage. Okay. Just enlist the voltage values. So I have got the VA as 1.542 volt. The next one, the VV as the voltage value of VV or the voltage at point B as 4.685 volt. Okay. Now we do know that the according to the rule of thumb, the current is always flowing from our from the point of greater voltage towards lower voltage point. So quite naturally here the VA is 1.542 volt and here the VB is 4.685 volt. Okay. Now I am going to write this path over here in a separate way. Here this is VB. This is VA. Okay. And here the resistance is 10 ohm. And we need to find out the I 10 ohm. Okay. And quite naturally what is the value of VA? The VA value is, I should write inside our bracket, the VA value is 1.542 volt. And what is the value of VB? The VB is 4.685 and the unit is in volt. Okay. So quite naturally, the current is always going from greater voltage towards, later, towards lesser voltage. Okay. So which point has the greater voltage? The VV point has the greater voltage compared with this VA. The pole value is greater compared with 1. So quite frankly, the current has flown in this way, in this direction. And what is the exact value of that current? The value is VV minus VA which is voltage difference divided by our resistance. The value is resistance value is 10 ohm. Okay. Now put the value of this voltage in our equation. So what is the VB? The VB is 4.685 minus with BA means 1.542 divided by our 10. Okay, so this is our final answer for our I10 ohm. Okay, now 
फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू फोर पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट सिक्स एट फाइव माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर टू डिवाइडेड बाई टेन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आवर करेंट इज वॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ आवर करेंट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन फोर थ्री जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन फोर थ्री एम्स द सेम विथ अवर प्रीवियस कॉन्सिडरेशन ऑफ अवर थ्रिब्यूनल स्टेडियम दैट इज वाई आई हैव कॉन्स्ट्रक्टेड दिस टेबल एंड एज आई हैव गॉट अवर एंसर ऑफ अवर करेंट I will write the answer inside this bracket to say that I have completed or I have shown you the current value for that method or according to that method. Okay, so write down the current value. What is the current value? We have got the value is zero point three one four three. and the unit is in amps okay the next portion is the power to our 10 ohm resistor i want to remind you once again no one is doing this type of videos over here and i am going to show you all things in a conceptual way i want to remind this portion once again at this point a the voltage is va at this point b the voltage is vv and the current is always going from the greater voltage towards later volt uh, towards lower voltage from more to lower okay as the water has flown from the highest point towards lowest point if you do consider that the flowing of water as a current the same thing is happened over here the current is always going from higher potential point towards lower potential point so we have got the higher potential point which is vv and the lower potential point which is va so the quite naturally the current should be flowing from vv towards va okay and what is the ultimate value of our current the ultimate value of our current is the potential difference divided by resistance so potential difference means vv minus va divided by 10 and i have put the value of vv va in our equation and i after that i have got the current value which is this one so by nodal method we have got this is our current value over here okay so the time is up i want to give you another 2 minutes to note down up to this one and after that finally i will conclude with this um uh, nodal analysis problem by finding out the power loss through our resistor hope you you have understood my point and if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below we will be there always try to help you and if you have any constructive suggestions regarding our channel please let us know in the comment section as well so the time starts now
In our previous portion of the video, we have got our current which is 0.3143 amps. So without wasting any time, we just need to find out the power through our 10 ohm resistor. So what is the formulation? Let us do that. So we have got the current, the value of our current is 0.3143 amps. Okay. So what is the power? P 10 ohm. What is that value? The formulation is I 10 ohm squared multiplied with our resistance value which is 10. Okay. Now let us put the value of our I 10 which is 0.3143 squared multiplied with 10. Okay. Now by using the calculator, I should find out this one, which is 3143 squared multiplied with 10. And the value is 0 0.9878. 0 0.9878 and the unit is in watts. Okay. Now I should write or I should complete our chart over here. So what is the power? The power is 0 0.9878 and the unit is what? Okay. So I have completed or I have solved this problem by using our second recognized method which is nodal method i have previously completed two crucial or most important thevenin's theorem and i have solved the same problem with the nodal method as well so if you have missed those videos please do follow that videos so i think i have totally cleared your concepts if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section below if you have any constructive suggestions regarding our channel and regarding our videos please let us know in the comment section as well and i know that these type of conceptual problems or the whole solution is altogether missing on youtube platform that is why i keep on saying please do subscribe our channel because to subscribe our channel you no longer do require to invest or no longer do require to spend extra money for that so just hit the subscribe button the red button and hit the bell icon for more updates okay so that's it thank you and goodbye
If you like my video, so what are you waiting for? Please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon for more updates, and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you and goodbye.